Today is July 30th. Last couple of weeks we've had really, really good weather. Everything's been growing like crazy. Got a big zucchini down there. Not too much to cook. We've had uh, mid 70s. Um, always a little bit of wind, keep the disease down. I've been doing overhead watering maybe about every three days. And uh, the last couple of days have been hot, upper 80s. But uh, everything's doing good so far. Got more sunflowers coming in. Those are the ones I planted. After uh, the volunteers came up. Tomato plants. Finally getting a lot of tomatoes. Still green, so hopefully they ripen up. And peppers, Anaheim's, one, two, three, four, five. Big one there, six, seven, that's just one plant. They've been doing really good. I did a light feeding a few days ago. It's a 4 10, 10 for the vegetables and the pumpkins. It's a dry fertilizer. Wax beans, getting a lot of those. Probably too late to harvest them. I'll just pick them off and let the beans dry up. Sunflower. Those are the ones, like I said, the ones I planted later. About seven foot tall right now. Cucumbers. Yeah. Getting some good cucumbers in finally. That's that volunteer sunflower. Only about maybe two and a half, three foot tall. Excuse me, B. And it's probably close to a foot around. Pumpkin patch has been growing a lot. I've actually started to cut some of the growing tips coming through the fence in some areas. This is a speckled hound. That's maybe, I don't know, eight, nine inches across or so. It's got a little bit of a ring from the bloom. That's kind of cool. These are round. The ones on the back side from the other plant have more of a flattened, uh, flattened shape. Christmas beans. Dragon tongue beans. Should start getting some pods pretty soon. Corn. Finally gotten some tassels. And it's up about 8 foot tall. Hog panel, these are miniature variety pumpkins. One over there, some in there. I haven't counted them all. I'd say there's probably maybe seven or eight total. Squash, these are in the hay bales. Finally getting some uh, of the single serving butternuts. They're not very big. But I just saw those the other day. And I've had to cut back, like I said, growing tips and some of the leaves to get a pathway through this. That's porcelain doll, it's supposed to be the pink pumpkin. It's already got nice ribs, too. That's kind of neat. And the uh, winter sweet squash are on the back side. I can't hardly get to those. I did a dry fertilization just uh, broadcast over the top. Normally this stuff rinses down, but some of it didn't. Some burned the leaves a little bit, other not too bad. But I may have to switch to doing a liquid feeding or get a good rinse in or something. 
Tony started using that hose end sprayer. That looked pretty impressive, so I may end up getting one of those. The Cinderella, yeah, maybe eight inches around. This is off one vine, and then on the same uh, opposite side of the vine, got like three of them in a row. So, there's the last one. I don't know. There's putting out two at the very end. There's one there. There's one there. It's a bigger one there. So I'm gonna have to start popping some of these off, otherwise I'm gonna have a whole bunch of small pumpkins. And the cacais, can't see them too well. Kind of a bush style pumpkin, so let's back in there. The two that were growing together, I pruned them out. One was covering up the watering hole and it got a little bit spongy anyway. And this is the only pumpkin on this whole plant. And it's gotten probably about the size I think it's supposed to get. A little crack right there. It just may have been growing too fast. Put a little mud and water, sealed it up. I think it'll be okay. But that's the only pumpkin on that thing. This is the one that put out all the male blossoms. I guess one female. The other plant has had five pumpkins on it. So not a very good even distribution. This is a Long Island cheese. It's made it up to the top of the hog panel. I hope those come out because they're a neat looking pumpkin. No getting through that aisle. And this is the other speckled hound plant. Oops, sorry. I meant to do that. And that's got a... Uh, circle from the blossom too. It's kind of neat. You can see these are kind of flatter, flatter shape as they go down and on the top. And then uh, there's another one back in there. One farther back in there. So the plan for today is probably do some more selective pruning, do some thinning. I just put out a little bit more lime, kind of a broadcast. And I've got a, a 0050 powder. It's a high potassium that I want to try and get down. See if I can get some size out of the pumpkins. And uh, over on the zucchini, I finally had one leaf that had some powdery mildew on it. So I cut that leaf off. And I think I'm probably going to spray this weekend as a preventative because the weather conditions coming up in August are going to be ripe. So hopefully if I do get a good spray, it'll be about two weeks of protection. Then uh, switch out fungicides, do another spray, and that will get me to September and uh, hopefully uh, everything will come in good. So I'll take another video in at least a couple weeks. And thanks for watching.